Okay, so today we're going to look at section 4.5, exponential and logarithmic equations and applications. So we mentioned this earlier, equivalence property of exponential expressions. If bx and y are real numbers with b greater than zero and b not equal to one, then b of x equals b of y implies x equals y. So if I tell you that four to the two X minus three equals 64. Okay, this means that four to the two X minus three equals four to the third which tells me that 2x minus 3 equals 3. Add 3 to both sides, x equals 6. 2x equals 6, x equals 3. And if you plug it in, you get 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3 is 3. And what if I say this? 27 to the 2w plus 5 is equal to 1 third to the 2 minus 5w. That's an exponent. So if this is 3 to the 3 times 2w plus 5, and this is 3 to the negative one times two minus five W. So this means that three times two W, six W plus 15 equals negative one times two minus W, which is negative two plus five W. So subtract five W from both sides, I get a W. Subtract 15, I get a negative 17. Okay, so here are the steps to solving equations by using logarithms. First step, isolate the exponential expression on one side of the equation. Next, take a logarithm of the same base on both sides of the equation. And then use the power property of logarithms to bring down the exponent and solve the resulting equations. So I'm looking at something like this. 5 to the x equals 83. So what this is telling me, and this is kind of neat. I can take the logarithm of both sides of this. The log of 5 to the x equals the log of 83. Just like we've been able to add the same thing, subtract the same thing, multiply and divide. We can also take the log. And I use common log because I can use my calculator on those. So now using the property, the power property, this is x times the log of five equals the log of 83. Then dividing by the log of five, x equals the log of 83 over the log of five. Now, if you're in a rush, note that when you punch in something like the log, parentheses opens, 83, close your parentheses before you divide by the log of five. If you wanna do this in one, calculation on your calculator. So I have log 83, close those parentheses, divided by log five. And I get 2.7456. So just out of curiosity, five to the 2.7456 equals 83.00266638. So pretty nifty. Okay, let's see, we have another example of this. Uh, 
How about this? If I have 400 plus 10 to the 4x minus 1 equals 6,300. Nope, 63,000. Well, my first step would be to simply subtract 400 from both sides. Six two six hundred. Okay. Now, if I take the log of both sides, I take the natural log or the common log of both sides of ten to the four x minus one equals the log of sixty two thousand six hundred. This becomes 4x minus 1 times the common log of 10 equals the log of 62,600. Well, this is simply 1. The, log, the common log of 10 is 1, right? 10 to the first is 10. So now I have... 4x minus 1 equals a natural log of 62,600, which is 4.7965. And actually, that's not what they did. They don't want you to bother with that. They just say, Take the log of 62600, zero, zero. we're going to add 1, and we're going to divide it by 4, and that's going to be x. So they don't want any calculations. Okay. Let's look at one more here. How about this? 100 equals 700 e and a negative 0 0.2k. So in this case, I'm probably going to want to take the natural log. I have a natural log of 100, natural log of 700, times e negative 2 or negative 0.2k. So this is just the natural log of 700 plus the natural log of e to 0.2k, negative 0.2k. All right. So if I have the natural log of 100 minus the natural log of 700 equals this here, right here. So this becomes 1 over 7, so the natural log of 1 over 7. Somehow I think I'm upside down here. Ah, uh, I see why. So let's not do that. Let's do this. Natural log of 100. Natural log of 100 equals natural log of 700 minus 0 0.2k times the natural log of E. So I'm going to move this to this side to get 0 0.2k, because this is just 1. 
equals the natural log of 700 minus the natural log of 100. Now I have 0.2k equals the natural log of 700 over 100. So 0 0.2k equals the natural log of 7. k equals the natural log of 7 divided by 0 0.2. And that is it. So that brings us to our last thing here. Yep, wait a minute. Looks like we have some more examples we need to do of this. And what if I have something like this? Three to the five X minus six equals two to the four X plus one. Well, I can take the common log of both sides. So far, so good. So this becomes 5x minus 6 times the log of 3 equals 4x plus 1. Times the log of 2. Divide by the log of 2 and get log of 3 over log of 2 and divide by this 4x plus 1 over 5x minus 6 not pretty Okay, that's not how they want to do that. So this becomes 5x times the log of 3, log of 3, minus 6 times the log of 3 equals 4x times the log of 2 plus the log of 2. Okay, bring our x's all over to one side. So I have 5x times the log of 3 minus 4x times the log of 2 equals the log of 2 plus 6 times the log of 3. Then we can factor out an x here and get x times 5 log of 3 minus 4 log of 2. This is equal to the log of 2 plus 6 times the log of 3. So x is equal to the log of 2 plus 6 times the log of 3 over 5 times the log of 3 minus 4 times the log of 2. Kind of long and drawn out. Let's look at one more here. What if I have e to the 2x minus 5e e to the x minus minus 14 equals zero.
So this is e to the x to the second minus e to the x to the fifth minus 14 equals zero. Now what I can do is substitute that e to the x equal u. Oh, this is just x. Yeah, x. Where did I get the 5? So if I let e to the x be... Oh, this is 5 times e to the x. e to the x squared. So if I let e to the x be u, I have u squared minus 5u minus 14 equals 0 which is u minus 7 times u plus 2 equals 14 yep, equals 0, which means u minus 7 equals 0 or u plus 2 equals 0. So u equals 7, u equals negative 2. Okay? Well, e to the x cannot equal a negative. Now there's my two out of there. So e to the x equals seven. We take the natural log of both sides. And we get the natural log of e to the x is simply x equals the natural log of seven. Okay. One more thing to look at here. If B, X, and Y are positive real numbers with B not equal to 1, then the log base B of X equals the log base B of Y implies that X equals Y. So if I have the log base 2 of 7x minus 4 equals the log base 2 of 2x plus 1. This means that 7x minus 4 equals 2x plus 1, which means 5x equals 5 and x equals 1. Okay. So what if I have something that's uh, like this? A natural log of x plus a natural log of x minus 8 equals the natural log of x minus 20. Well, this is a natural log of x times x minus 8, right? Natural log of x minus 20. So this is x squared minus 8x. And we can leave the natural log for now. x minus 20. So this means that x squared minus 8x is equal to x minus 20. So x squared minus 9x plus 20 equals 0 x minus 4, x minus 5, which means that x equals 4 or x equals 5. So steps to solving logarithmic equations using exponential form. So given a logarithmic equation, isolate their logarithms on one side of the equation. Use the properties of logarithms to write the equation in the form log base b of x equals k, where k is a constant. Write the equation in exponential form. Solve the equation from step three and check your potential solutions in the original equation. So what are we doing here? We're saying...
log base four of W plus six equals 24. Okay, so I've got everything. I got my logarithm on the same side. Okay, first thing. Well, I don't have a constant out here, so. Actually, this was supposed to be a constant out here, eight. The first thing I do is get rid of that eight, divide by eight. So I have a log base four of W plus six, and now it equals three. Okay. So this is saying W plus six is equal to my base four to the third power. Four to the third power is what? Mm. Four, 1664. Now W plus six equals 64. W equals 58. Plug that in here and we get eight times the log base four, 58 plus six, and does this equal 24? Eight times the log base four of 64, 24, log base four, 64 is three. Eight, and it does. So this is my answer. Okay, what about something a little more? If I have the common log of t minus 18 equals 1.4. So what is this saying? This is saying 10 to the 1.4 is equal to t minus 18. So t is equal to 10 to the 1.4 plus 18. I would make a note of this one because I believe there is a test question like that. Okay, let's look at another one here. So we have two minus log base seven of X equals log base seven of X minus 48. So I need to get my logs on the same side. Now keep this two here and I have log base seven of X plus log base seven of x minus 48. Okay. Which gives me two equals log base seven of x times x minus 48. So that tells me that two, not two, sorry, the base seven to the second power is equal to this, x squared minus 48x. Well, this is 49. Bringing everything over, I have x squared minus 48x minus 49 equals 0. x minus 49, x plus 1 equals 0. x equals 49 or x equals negative 1. However, if you plug negative 1 in here, or x, you will see that that doesn't work. So our answer is just simply 49. Okay, we can use Exponential functions 
or exponential equations in the financial application. So how long will it take $8,000 compounded monthly at 6%? So our principal is 8,000. 12 times a year, 6%, which is 0 0.06. And we want to know T, how long. You remember our formula was A. And we want to know doubling. So we want it to go to A is going to be double that, 16,000. So we're looking for this. So A is, looking back at our formula, P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. So 16,000 equals 8,000 times 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 to the 12 times T. Okay, go ahead and divide to 8,000. I get two equals. This is one plus 0 0.005 to the 12 T. Two equals 1.005 to the 12 T. Now I can take the logarithm of both sides. So the log of two equal to the log of 1.005 to the 12 t. Use my exponential pro or my power property. Log base two equals 12 t times the log, not log base two, log of two. 12 t times the log of 1.005. Do my division here. Log base 2 divided by the log of 1.005, 12t divide again by 12. I'll end up with the log base 2 over 12 times the log of 1.005 equals t. We plug that into our calculators. Log of 2, don't forget to close the parentheses. Divided by log of 1.005 times 12. Oops. And we get approximately 11.6 years. And that will be the last one for section 4.5. That'll do it for today. Have a good day, and I will see you next time.